Catherine stuns in tiara and icy blue gown as she joins with William for a royal tea party. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge attended a diamond jubilee party at the British High Commissioner's residence in Kuala Lumpur. Following a very busy morning and early afternoon, Kate changed to an exquisite dress by Alice Temperley for tea at the British High Commissioner's residence in Kuala Lumpur. The High Commission of Malaysia held a contest prior to the royal visit. Two lucky winners were able to attend the event to meet William and Kate. Here is the royal couple meeting with Ashikin, the winner of the ultimate royal tea competition under 18 category. There were a number of high profile guests at the party, including Malaysian Chinese designer Jimmy Chu. Kate has worn a number of pieces from the Jimmy Choo brand, including the Vamp Sandals, the Amy Pumps, and Cosmic Jumps. Jimmy Choo no longer has links with the company he started, but when asked by reporters if he'd like to design for Kate, he replied, why wouldn't? She is the style icon of her generation. She is an absolute beautiful person both inside and out, very much like Prince Williams' mother. She also told me how much she was loving visiting my country, which made me very proud indeed. For this special occasion, the princess wore a bespoke version of Temperley London's Astor Flower dress from the AW12 collection. The dress is designed with an embroidery lace finish, boat neckline, three-fourth sleeves, and a flattering flared skirt. The ready-to-wear version of the Temperley London Astor Flower dress features a boat neckline, metallic embroidery, sheer sleeves, a flared skirt, and pure silk lining. As you can see, Kate opted for a lighter colored palette customizing the dress to make it more suitable for the heat, occasion and location. She opted for cool white lace overlay in an icy blue sheath. Kate wore her hair tied up in a chick chick don decorated with tiny pearl pins. As you can just make out above, Kate wore a pair of aquamarine and diamond earrings to the party. William and Kate continued their tour of Malaysia with a visit to the As Sia Kirian Mosque, an Islamic place of worship located in Kuala Lumpur city center. Kate and William removed their shoes in the mosque. Kate covered her hair with a scarf and did not wear any nail polish on her toenails in accordance with Islamic practices. The As Siakirin Mosque is the largest in Malaysia. The building is very modern in style. It is situated next to a large shopping center and the two striking Petrona Towers. The mosque can hold up to 12,000 worshippers. Kate wore the pale blue Sabi tree dress by Belea London at the time. The label described the silk dress as original, flattering, and feminine in a versatile way that can be worn from day to evening. You may recall that Bilal London is owned by Lady Natasha Rufus Isaacs, a friend of Kate and Williams. Lady Natasha and co-owner Lavina both are committed to raising awareness for human trafficking and sex trade in Delhi. Their ethical fashion label helps to provide a sustainable livelihood for those who have come out of sex trafficking. Every purchase you make from Belial London helps to break the chains of poverty in some of the world's most marginalized communities. Kate paired the ice blue dress with nude accessories from L.K. Bennett. Finally, Kate wore her hair tied up in a pretty chick non. Kate's earrings remain a mystery. The Duchess first debuted them during this tour. They feature a blue colored stone set in diamonds in a dangled teardrop shape, set in a white metal, likely to be white gold.